How is it going everybody? You're watching then about tech. So let's say your iPhone is stuck. It's completely frozen, unresponsive, and it doesn't matter what you do. It doesn't go anywhere. It doesn't do anything. So you may tap the screen and it doesn't do anything. Uh, maybe you're trying to go home, swiping up to go home, or pressing the home button depending on your iPhone model and it doesn't go anywhere. Even pressing buttons, trying to lock the phone, trying to uh, maybe turn off the display, nothing happens. And even if you try to turn off the iPhone completely, you can't. You may even try to plug into the charger and nothing happens. And keep in mind that this may happen while the iPhone is turned on with the screen on like mine is, or maybe when the screen is off. And I'm gonna teach you how to fix it by showing you how to force restart your iPhone. So I'm gonna show you a method that will force it to turn off and then turn back on completely normal as if nothing ever happened. And I love this method because you don't need a computer, all you need is the iPhone itself and also you won't lose any data. So this method is no data loss. So it's absolutely perfect and it works on any and all iPhone models. So first things first, I gotta let you know that there are actually three different methods for this to force restart your iPhone. So that's why I have three different iPhones right here to cover all models, all right? So let's begin with method number one, which are for the most updated for the newer iPhones. So as you guys can see, I'm holding here an iPhone 13 Pro Max, and this method actually works. This method is for the iPhone 8 all the way up to the iPhone 13 Pro Max. So if you have an iPhone 8, 8 Plus, 10, 10S, 10R, 11, 11 Pro, 11 Pro Max, SE2, 12, 12 Mini, 12 Pro, 12 Pro Max, 13, 13 Mini, 13 Pro, and 13 Pro Max, all of those devices, that's this method. If you have one of those devices, that's this method, number one. And it's actually super, super easy, guys, because all you gotta do is actually press and let go the volume up, then press and let go the volume down, and then press and hold the side button, the power button, because it's now called side button, right? So now let's do it in action. So let me show you. So volume up, let go, volume down, let go, press and hold the side button. And that's what you gotta do. Keep in mind that you need to follow this even if your iPhone is turned off, turned on, it doesn't matter. If your iPhone is stuck, if it's frozen and unresponsive, follow this process. And then as soon as you see the Apple logo, you let go. That's it, as easy as that. So as I said, it doesn't matter which screen is displaying on your iPhone. Maybe uh, it's frozen in the home screen. Maybe it's frozen with an app opened. Uh, maybe the display is completely off. It doesn't matter. Follow this process up, let go, down, let go, power, and keep holding, and your iPhone will force restart. That's it, that's the method. And then of course, you gotta put in your passcode, and your iPhone is back to normal. As easy as that, all right? So that's method number one. As I mentioned, for newer devices, I'm gonna put this iPhone right here to the side, and then let's go to method number two, which is exclusive to only two devices. Method number two, is only for the iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. I know this is an iPhone 8, this is not an iPhone 7, but I don't have an iPhone 7 with me, so we gotta do this process with this phone right here, right? So if you have an iPhone 7 or 7 Plus, instead of actually doing all of that, we're just gonna press and hold two buttons at the same time. And those buttons will be volume down and the side button, the power button right here on the side. So we gotta press and hold both and keep holding until we see the Apple logo, as we just did right here on the iPhone 13 Pro Max. I won't do on this device because as I said, this is an iPhone 8, so it won't work. So uh, the process won't work because as I said, this is for the 7 and 7 Plus. So again, if you got a 7 and 7 Plus, volume down and power button, press both at the same time and keep holding, keep holding, keep holding until you see the Apple logo and then you let go. That's it, as easy as that. And now let's go to method number three, which is for the older devices. So method number three is actually for the iPhone 1 all the way up to the iPhone 6S, including the iPhone SE first generation, 
all right so if you got one of these older devices follow method number three and i'm so sorry that my iphone 6 is extremely busted but i'm gonna show you the process anyway so for the older iphones iphone 1 all the way up to iphone 6s the method is actually power button and home button at the same time okay so you're gonna press power button press home button at the same time maybe depending on your iphone your power button will be at the top right so press both buttons at the same time and hold so press and hold power and home press and hold and the exact thing will happen so the iphone will turn off and then as soon as you see the apple logo you can let go so as you saw the methods are very very similar uh, the only difference is actually the buttons you gotta press. Now, if even after following this process, you still have the problem, your iPhone is still unresponsive, it's still stuck, it didn't work, then the problem goes a little bit deeper and you definitely have a corrupt iOS. And in order to solve this, you need to reset your iPhone. So you need to get a computer, plug your device to a computer, and then restore it, reset it. If you don't know how to do it, if you don't really feel comfortable with that, I have a video showing you this tutorial step by step, and I'm gonna put a card right here. You can click and go to that video. That video is actually about how to reset a forgotten passcode, but the tutorial is the exact same. So you can follow that tutorial that'll teach you how to reset your iPhone, okay? And if even after that it doesn't work, then you definitely have a hardware issue and you gotta take your iPhone to an Apple store because that's the maximum we can go. That's the furthest we can go. You gotta take it to an Apple store to get it checked, all right? So that's pretty much it. Hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please make sure to hit the like button down below. On top of that, the subscribe button down below and the little bell icon to get notified whenever I post a new video. And last but not least, hit in the comment box your thoughts about the video, the subject, the content. I always do appreciate all your feedback, right? So that's it. And I'll see you in my next video as usual. Bye-bye.